Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to take this sign and convert it to this. Boom, basically replaced everything. We can do this in Blender. It's super easy to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it right now. All right, so I'm just using standard Blender here. Nothing, no Octane special or anything like that. The first thing I do is I jump into the video editor and I'm gonna go inside the video editor. I'm gonna add in my video. I have some video that I shot that's in vertical format. I'm gonna import that in. All right, I have my video in. I'm gonna come to, over to my resolution. I'm gonna go 1080 by 1920. I'm gonna go ahead and press rotate. 90 boom now it's all ready to go and then from here all i'm going to do is render out some png set my frame range as uh, i have 130 frames we'll go to n130 and then i'm going to render out pngs for this and go ahead and save them out as an individual files pngs rgb i'm gonna go 16 bit and then i'm gonna go ahead and render them out boom that is complete i'm gonna go ahead and open up a new tab i'm gonna go to new vfx and i'm gonna go ahead and load that footage back in but first of all let's make sure it's changed our settings here i'm gonna go to 1080 by 1920 and then i'm gonna go for fps was 30 fps import my footage here are all of my frames i'm gonna go ahead and press a open clip and there it is now we have our shot next thing i'm gonna do is jump over here to set scene range and prefetch boom once that's complete now what i'm gonna do here is basically i'm just gonna come over here and go to tracking extra settings and i'm gonna go ahead and change this correlation to 0.9 from there what i'm gonna do here is now just add in some tracker markers here i just want to track this sign this is where we're going to replace it so i'm going to come to the corner here hold down control and drop that right there in the corner just like that you can come over here if you want to see that and place that a little bit more better i'm gonna press control t and boom, just like that, it was really quick. Okay, repeat that on the opposite side. I'm gonna press Control Shift T to go backwards. That went all the way through. Down here on the bottom, Control T. That went all the way through. And this last corner here, Control Shift T. Boom, we got four tracks. They are all synced up and tracked. Good. Now what I'm gonna do is select all the tracks, press A on the keyboard. I'm gonna go to the Solve tab over here to the side. And then I'm gonna scroll up to this tab here and it says Plain Track. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll that down and hit Create Plain Track. Now we've got this box. This is the box where we're gonna put our image inside here. So this is where you want your image to be. So let's be really precise on where we place this. I'm gonna grab this corner here and I'm just gonna drag it inside here. And I'm gonna get close because I want this to be very good like something like that scroll over to the opposite side grab this next corner put that in there scroll to the bottom grab this drag it up to here and this last corner and again you really want to be precise with these ones here and so now we can go ahead and play it back you see that our plane is sitting there nice and tight and that's pretty much it so now what we're going to do is i'm going to go into the compositing tab and what i'm going to do here is go ahead and hit add huge nodes render node we don't need that what we need is our our image so we're going to go ahead and add an image sequence all right i brought in our footage and then what i'm going to do is hold down control and shift and left button click now we have our viewer node i'm going to go scroll over here to our viewer and what i'm going to do here is go ahead and put that to fit and i'm going to actually just scroll that over to the side press in because i don't need to see that and then I'm gonna work over here. Take these guys, I'm gonna actually go ahead and plug this one into there, hold down shift, right metal, click, connect those together, there it is. So we got our footage, now what we're gonna do is we need to bring out our planar track. Come in here, shift A and go planar, PL, there it is, planar track deform. I'm gonna take that, plug that into there. Now we don't see anything, and what we need to do next is go here and pull out our track, click here, that is our plate. We'll go ahead and click on that. Next, we're gonna click on camera. And then next one, plain track. There it is. I'm also gonna tick motion blur there. So we want some motion blur to be in there. Now, if I zoom back out, here is the area that we basically cut out, okay? So if I take this plane and plug this into this so we can view it. Now you see there, there is the alpha that we basically just cut out, okay? So next, what we're going to do is add in a alpha over node, alpha over, drop that in here i'm gonna put that on the bottom i want my background to be on the top okay and there it is we're kind of like reprojecting the same you know thing inside of there but what we want to do is add an image to this right so here we're going to pull this image out because i don't want that i want to put my own image in here so what i basically did next was i opened up photoshop and opened up the first plate 
of the sequence so basically the the first frame of the sequence because it is a png and that's why i did pngs instead of exrs because they're easier to work with in photoshop so here is the first frame of our video and what i want to do is cut this piece out here and i basically want to use this as my background image and i'm going to probably do some uh, painting here to paint out all this text just so i can it really sits in with the plate because it's the original plate so what i'm going to do here is just go ahead and click this and i'm going to come over here and I want to straighten this image out first. So I'm going to go over to edit and I think I want to use part perspective warp and I'm going to go ahead and just drag it like this. And now we're going to need to go ahead and put these in the corners, right? So I'm gonna grab this, put that in the corner there. Same over here and this last corner. Okay. Now once I have them in the corner, what I want to do is click on this top here and click warp. I'm going to go ahead and click on this middle one here straighten right so this is going to straighten everything out and then what i'm going to do from here now that i have this i'm going to go ahead and hit okay it's easy to take out our image here because it's now it's not at a nice straight angle so what i'm going to do is grab my pen tool and i'm going to come in here and just go ahead and make a rectangle selection on this right there right there right there and back here in the top and let's go ahead and also be a little bit more tidy on this here if you hold down control tap that you can select just this one point holding control down and make an adjustment on that and again holding control i'm gonna tap this guy here and get him in a tighter position and vice versa all right now that i have that selected what i'm gonna come over here do is go over to the path right behind me where i'm hiding i'm gonna click path i'm gonna hold down control and right uh left click and now it makes a selection right i'm gonna go back to my layers i'm gonna go copy paste now if i hide all of these other layers boom i have a copy of this now this is going to allow me to work with the image on its on the way it's set up here and what i would do from here is crop it okay there it is there is the crop and now we just go ahead and do the paint out which is just come in here grab the clone brush right here uh hit tab so we can or hit can uh blah, 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 cap locks so i can see what i want and then i'm gonna basically i want to paint here i'm gonna hold down alt click and now i'm gonna just paint out all of this stuff here that i don't want so i can put my own text over the top now just a little hint to try to make this look better again when you're doing this is to sample different areas so like this area of blue might be slightly different from this area of blue so i'll paint this area of blue with this side and then come to the other side so i finished doing all of the painting and now i just basically add in what i want to put back onto the side adding to my text stickers and whatnot that's pretty much it from there i also lower the opacity of some of the texts so they don't look too clean so that they'll kind of blend in with the background once i have that i'll go ahead and just export out a png back inside of blender what we're going to do is import an image or an import an image and i'm going to load in the image we just made in photoshop once you've got that image we're just going to add that image into the image of the planar attractive form and then boom there it is it pretty much adds it straight in and that's really pretty much the whole process from there. If we go ahead and scroll on our timeline here, you can see that it's basically moving with the planar track and it's completely lined up. Turn on the motion blur so we get a little bit of motion blur happening. And that's how easy it is to do this. And then from here, what I'll do is come over here to export, export out a MPEG file, save it where you want it, and then hit render, 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 render in animation. 